guys, check out that good pot of greens. Now, if you want a pot of greens like this, Mustards and turnips, you guys. Yes, your girl got her some big old ham hocks in here. Uh huh. Yes, we got us some big old ham hocks. You guys, check out the size of these ham hocks. Ooh, that's big. But we're gonna sit those right here on this table. Why? Because we got some mustard greens going on. Yes, we got us some mustard greens going on. So, if you want to know how I clean these mustard greens, I'll refer to the video before this one. You will see it. Most people cut theirs off the bone, but I will not. Because I like to put my meat right there in between. And we're going to put up some greens on top. Because we need these greens to cook on down. We'll make sure they are submerged in here. Good. Cause this is how I like to do mine. You guys. Put us a lid on here and we're gonna let these cook down for a minute before we apply any seasoning. Okay guys, so we're at the step where I cooked all the greens down. So they are in this pot. Right here is nothing but deliciousness. Now yes, as you saw, I did not put any seasoning on here. Because I wanted all, all the flavor is coming off these ham hocks. But I am about to put some seasoning on here. Yes, I am. Because I wanted some good old greens, you guys. Some good old greens. And yeah, here they are. Those four bundles, they really didn't cook down to anything, you guys. But my first step is I am going to use some extra virgin olive oil. Use whatever oil you want. And yeah, I'm pouring it in just like so. I think it just gives the greens a different type of kick, I guess you could say. Now this is a special blend of my seasonings. And typically all of this in here is definitely no salt added type of blend. Now what we have here is a green seasoning. Okay. So I always go with this green seasoning or Mr. Wally. I think it is. So I always use this seasoning. This makes a mean pot of collard greens or mustard and turnip or kales. Whatever green of your choice. So yeah. I always sprinkle me enough in there. And hey, I let my greens go for what they know, okay? But what I am going to add in here, and it's not going to hurt anything, is some meat tenderizer, you guys. Why? Because look how big these ham hocks is. These ham hocks are super big. Yes, we're going to add us some of that in here. And there you have it. 
We got us some good old greens right here. Now, I'm going to let these go ahead and cook and do their thing. But I must say, I am going to take some of that water off, you guys. Because I don't like too much water. And I prefer to take it off. Now, with that being said, you guys, you can take a measuring cup and take it off. I mean, the choice is yours. Whatever you have to take it off. But right now, I'm just going to use this clean bowl. And I'm going to insert it in here somehow. We're going to put that ham hock right there. We're going to insert it. Now, I know you said, well, she just added her juice. You know, her seasoning. And it's okay. Why? Because that water will sit there. In case I need it. In case I need it. But I am one that don't like too much water around my greens. There you go. I do not like a lot of water. Because like I said, greens make a lot of water themselves. And we're going to cover that and we're going to let that cook. And I want to say thank you all for tuning in, showing your love and your support. If you're not sure how to pick a collard green, go to how to pick a collard green video. I will leave that in the description. And yes, enjoy yourself a good pot of greens of your choice with any type of meat. Smoked turkey, uh, smoked neck bones, pork neck bones. Matter of fact, don't even add any meat. Okay, just do your seasoning and keep it going. But anywho, I'm going to get ready to close this video out. And thank you all for all your love and your support. Like I state, I am sending much love from my house to yours. And make sure that you leave a comment below, you guys. Thank you. Bye.